He was attacked while walking home from John Paul College. During this period, media speculation was rampant, public fear was intensified, and her school had issued warnings. At 8 p.m., Natalie was reported missing. A police search soon found her body in a shrub after being dragged through a hole in the fence. She had died in a similar manner to the others. She is believed to have put up a fight before her death, with forensic investigators finding skin and hair traces on her, not belonging to the victim. A postal worker had reported a rusty car with a suspicious person inside, viewing people through a pair of binoculars. Detectives traced this license plate number to Paul Denier's apartment. He was taken to Frankston Police Station in July 31, 1993, and videotaped his interview beginning at 9.20. Suspecting that the police already had DNA evidence on him, he willingly had his DNA collected and began to confess to the murders.